it's feed time! Hello, I come to another video of you. Today we're gonna have a look at the Figma number 568. It's Lancer, Altria, Pendragon. Another look at King Arthur from the Fate series. This time, more royal than ever and bigger than ever. You know what I'm talking about right there. We have the big boba, we have the giant lance going with it, but this version also exists in a DX version with a giant horse, which... I do not have. Quite simply, I just can't afford it and I don't have the room for it. So I passed on that one, but I still really want to have a look at this big Boba figure. Because I'm all about that stuff. Let's get into the review. First things first, this figure stands pretty well on its own. Which is kind of surprising due to the high heels. But then again, she has fairly flat feet. Size of the figure, she stands at about 14 and a half if you're going to the tippy top of the crown. Which means 4 inches, that would go up to like 5.7-ish, 7 and a little size comparisons. Here's Jolter, King Offer Saber, the SH Figot Son Goku, NECA Michelangelo, and Dark Side. Overall, look and detail. First and foremost, I really dig the design. I love this different take on Altria, Artoria, King Offer, whatever you want to call her. A lot more of the boobage and a lot more of the king look, so to speak. Let's dive into the detail first and foremost. You have a stern look on the face sculpt, which looks very good. I love the eyes in there. Has a little bit of a different angle and it really fits all together. Then we have the crown with a beautiful gold metallic paint job. Actually, a lot of detail also in the cross. And I'm very happy to say that I barely have any paint issues on my copy. Obviously that will differentiate from figure to figure, but mine's very clean. Then we have the braids in the back, which looks super detailed, all the small line work in there, because sometimes these things can be a little bit muddy, can look a little bit squished, but on this one it's very nice. We have the front hair, which is soft plastic so it doesn't get in the way, I have the furry collar that goes around with the wheel cloth cape, which has some wire in there, for posing purposes, so you can play around with that as much as you like. And it looks fairly clean as well. Don't have anything where it looks kind of ragged, where it looks kind of broken up. Because these cloud things, that they, they I, I feel like, especially for, for Figma, it's hit or miss. Then, the line work in the entire outfit. The gold lines actually look fantastic. I am in, I'm in love with gold, you can, you know that, because like dumb people like me like shiny things, but... It's really nicely applied, there's some thin lines, there's some thicker lines, and speaking of thick, yes, I cannot ignore the big boba which is sticking out, and it looks pretty good, and I like me some fan service. Then for the fist, they have like one where the fingers are individual, and the other one which has the armor covering up, um, not the thumb, but all the other ones, so there's a little bit of difference in that, uh, nice attention to detail. And also she has a little bit more armor plating on this side. Because she's a lancer, this is the lance holding arm. As such, you would have a little bit of extra protection on that and helping with your holding. There we have some more signs, some more detail um, printed on there. And just swinging around to the back, which has some more gold line work. And this weird kind of silver armor plating that goes around it. Has also some movement in there, which is nicely hidden, you can't really tell, and the detail on the medallions on the side. I feel like medallions because there's some more on there. Looks pretty good. And it's... Let me move this out and puncher time! Yeah, uh, already... Oh my god. The paint is already rubbing off on the butt cheeks, which is not nice. Also, I think like the butt cheeks could be a little bit larger because it's kind of hard to cover it up. Like only if you stand there up straight, if you try to move it to the forward move to like a forward position, it doesn't really line up. Also, which is not lining up, uh, lining up, is the gold in there. I don't know what happened, but then again, this is like a minor issue because you're not really supposed to look under there. You can tell also from the front how it's connected. It's not pretty, but I gotta give him props for really going through with the line work. That all looks good, but I wish it just was connected a little bit different in there. A little bit cleaner, but then again, those are places you're not supposed to look, you naughty little boy. Anyway, <laughs> moving down to some more blue rubbing off over there. Okay, this is getting a little bit out of hand. 
Why is the paint so weak on there? Why? Why, why is this happening? Been hiding this figure for not too long. Then we go down to the thick thighs with some the boots on there and some more armor plating. And I mean, overall, it looks good. But then again, why do we have all these black ball hinges in there? Why do you not have silver ball hinges? Just another small detail, but overall, I mean, I'm happy with the presentation of this character so far. Now for the articulation, starting it off with the hats, has decent back and forth movement, side to side also goes well, and does move around obviously as much as the collar lets it. You know, it has a little bit of wiggle motion, but the collar, other than that, doesn't really move around unless there's something missing, but I don't see any articulation points. As I mentioned with the cape, you have the wire that goes around through it, so you can bend that and have some more smooth posing options with that. And actually, I like that it's not weighed down, considering how big it is. For the chest area, you have a big gap, unfortunately, but there's like a, a dumbbell joint in there. It's kind of loose, but I mean, it does hold the position and with the big boba. But yeah, the gap is kind of off-putting just a little bit. Then we have the uh, shoulder joint. You have the big ball hinge in there, the smaller ball hinge that goes into the chest area. Also is a tiny bit inert by the collar, but not really too much. I feel the way they mold it, how it makes a nice curve over there, still leaves for some good movement. You can also rotate it on there and shift it forward and to the back on the ball in there. Missed opportun opportunity for a uh, bicep swivel, which I didn't do. And you have a simple ball hinge in the elbow, another ball hinge in the fist can bring that up and down as every Figma ever and also can be rotated. For the hip part, there's nothing. Now all this covering up would have been able to um, just put a ball hinge in there, like another dumbbell on the lower half, cut this up because all the gray armor parts just cover up the lower half of the figure. So. They could have done something with that, but they didn't. As such, we're just moving down to the legs. Have like the uh, classic Y joint where it goes into the ball hinges and another ball joint. Well, just ball joints on the legs. And another ball joint in the torso area, which you can pull out just a little bit for some more movement. Can rotate them hips, so bring them side to side and move them forward all the way up, which obviously is necessary to get her on the horse. Then we move two legs, moves forward also. I don't remember if I showed this, but you can move this up just a little bit. Leg moves forward, leg moves out to the side, and also to the back quite decently. And we do have a thigh swivel. They did it on the lower half, but they didn't do it on the upper half. Ball hinge in the knee, and another ball hinge in the foot, so you can bring that up and down. And also does tilt side to side just a little bit. It's a little bit blocked by the entire mode. But you can also swivel this one around. So you can adjust the ball hinge ever so slightly to get it into more position. And finally, also, you do have the rope, which are connected. Both sides are connected on a ball hinge up there. So you can bring it up and also has a decent amount of rotation because the way it's molded again leaves some room for experimentation. So overall, it's fine. For your accessories, first and foremost, we're starting off with the hands. You have both sides, one for holding the lances, then two open hands for more posing options, and open hands for the other side, and also two different holding hands, where finger gunner kind of goes out a little bit, which leads some more to more lean way for the figure than for your face sculpts. We have the serious face on the figure, but you also get the shouting face and the smiling face. Then there's also the Figma base, which is standard with ever every Figma ever, so you can move that around, put the figure on there, and you also got the Figma back, and finally, but certainly not least, this is the big Rongo Miniat Sacred Spear in the Noble Phantasm version when she's firing it up, and I love this piece, this is so nicely done, how I get a little bit of a gold tone in the energy that's building around it and it's super easy to assemble you just pack it in oh it's actually super nice in there so we just have this big pack and it seems like well this might just be a little bit soft like it goes in quite well and it stays in very well and all of this it's a little bit rubbery well not really rubbery but does have some lean way doesn't break off straight up 
but I love this. Also, the tip is like a little bit of white color on there. And then we have like a nice green mint color on the regular spear, which, oh my god. I love both of these things. Super duper nicely done. Love the color on it, and the assembly is super duper easy. And yeah, great pieces overall. Final thoughts! I love this figure, but it has its flaws. But let's start with the good. It looks amazing. The paint's actually very nicely on this one. I love the metallic and the gold. The blue's clean, and the gray looks fine. We also have the cape in there, which I didn't even talk about, but it's a lot more silkier on the inside than on the outside, so that's a bonus for that. And being able to pose it in various ways is great. Now for the posing itself though, I think this is super standard. They could have experimented a little bit, maybe make it better. She still moves well enough, but again, it's so standard. Like yeah, With this busy design, you could have gone in a little bit deeper. The accessories are great, but also she does not hold the lands up. The joints just aren't strong enough for that, and I kind of expected that. But it would have been nice to have something where you would have been able to attach to the base somewhat for her having to hold holding up the, the spear. But maybe if you two handed and whatnot. Still, um, yeah. Final thoughts, generally speaking, I like this release, I like this design, the accessories are awesome looking and really unique. Ugh, really unique. But anyway, um, yeah, I do recommend this one. With or without horse, I think it's a Strong release for the Figma Fate lineup from the looks of things. Mostly. But also, it's fine. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever Lancer King Arthur wants.